On today's Kickstarter critique, I check out Nemo's War, what all the big fuss is about, and I also come to a shocking revelation about stretch goals. Like seriously, it's pretty fascinating, I think you're gonna like it. But if you're enjoying the Kickstarter critiques, please consider clicking on that board game link, board game geek link right down there and giving this a like on board game geek that would help me out massively and potentially push this to the front page of board game geek which would be great for nebo's war and great for me so check that out and if not let's get it started <laughs> what does that even mean bowers game Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game and give you my honest thoughts on how it's being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Nemo's War Journeys and Expansion Expansion and Ultimate Edition. Now, I have never actually played Nemo's War. It's been one of those games that I've heard so much about that I've always wanted to try. I've heard it's got a great solo variant to it. And it's one of those rare games where I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it. I've never heard me like, oh, Nemo's War, I hate that game, which is very, very rare. Rare. So this is the expansion to that very spectacular first edition, apparently, and the ultimate edition. And I don't know what we're going to get into, but I feel like I'm going to like it. 143,000 rays, 15 days to go. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready to be impressed. Come on. Clever Hans had spared no expense to amass every natural and artistic treasure, displaying them with the helter-skelter picturesqueness that distinguishes a painter's studio. As the Nautilus's commander had predicted, my mind was already starting to fall into that promised state of stunned amazement. You've equipped the Nautilus with the newest technologies. You've been an adventurer and a humanist. You've led an infamous daring crew. Now, take the helm once more to sail above and below the waves. Behold, the journey's end. Wow. Oh, so much! And introducing the seventh character tile, Captain Nemo's son, Nadine Dakar. With his son now on board, Captain Nemo's legacy is at stake. Should Nadine Dakar be sacrificed, Nemo is defeated. Pledge now and be among the first to get the Journey's End expansion. Almost at once I saw Captain Nemo appear, lift his spyglass and inspect the horizon. For some minutes the captain stood motionless, rooted to the spot, contained within the field of his lens. Then he lowered his spyglass and exchanged about ten words with his chief officer. The latter seemed to be in the grip of an excitement he tried in vain to control. Oh, is that the story? The dream is now reality. The ultimate edition is here. Combining all expansion content, including Journey's End expansion, both new and returning players can now experience everything Nemo's War has to offer. Brave the hazards of the deadly seas, incite uprisings, chronicle amazing wonders, find mysterious treasures. Your quest knows no bounds in this ultimate edition. How will the world remember your voyage? Experience the final chapter of the Nemo's War adventure. Back Nemo's War Journey's End expansion and ultimate edition now. Oh my. I need a cigarette. Wow. That was, that was incredible. That I that was on par with a big budget movie, you know, two to three minute trailer, you know, that you would see for like an Inception or a Tenet or, or, or one of those big summer movies. Like I was gripped throughout that as a board gamer. I look at that and I say, oh, my God, I am going on the most amazing nautical sea adventure ever possible. And if I can get past this entry curve, I can live that life. I can have those adventures. And I, I'm in. <laughs> I'm going to reach out to them for a review copy. Like, this looks so cool. Uh, so let's see. And I have a feeling that they're going to crush it here. 16 created, 9 backed. That, that's a warm security blanket. I mean, we already, I, I feel like after watching that video, you felt comfortable, but 
How will the world remember your voyage? Nemo's War, the newest expansions to Nemo's War, is here featuring a comprehensive operations manual and between voyages guide. Shows how to run the ship turn by turn and includes many useful appendices. So it's like, hey, 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 don't freak out. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. We're going to get through this. You're going to learn how to play this game and you're going to love it. Okay, that's what they're saying right there. Saying, don't worry. We got you. This isn't just going to sit on your shelf. So, and then, and then it's like all this other good stuff we got. Here we got the components. What? An expansion for $29? Why, that seems like a reasonable price. Oh, that's a good start. <laughs> Nobody's backing that, though. I bet you that is so unpopular. Well, you know what? No, I bet everybody's getting the deluxe edition. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see in a second. All right. Comprehensive operations, new characters, new Nautilus upgrades, new... St I don't even know what any of this stuff means, but I have to have it. I want to have it. Oh, look at the theme. The theme is leaking out of the screen, out of the fate cards. Oh, gosh. New competitive game mode. Two ship moonies, wooden blocks, five person cards. Oh, my gosh. And here we go. Here we go. The showstopper, the HBK of this particular video, the Ultimate Edition. What do we got? $89, not $150. I see that value. What? That's heavy value. Brave the hazards of the sea. Yeah, the theme is amazing. What's in the box? Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? This is what wowed everyone. And I can't wait. Oh, there's stretch going. Oh, I'm excited. All right, 26 Nautilus upgrades. That sounds, that screams variability. Seven character cards, 101 adventure cards, 12 finale cards, motive tiles, action cards, and intermission cards, new competitive game mode, wooden blocks, five. Oh, there's so much stuff. All oh, the stuff, the pieces, and here we go. Here we go. I see Joel Eddie right at the top. I love Joel Eddie. Like, serious. There's a lot of opinions. You might have a lot, a lot of reviewers. But I feel like Joel Eddie is just like, everybody loves Joel Eddie. He's like Rodney almost. Rodney gets away with it real easy because he's got an amazing personality and he never trashes on any games because, you know, he's just here to show you how to play it. Whereas reviewers, we got to say some stuff you might not want to hear sometimes. This is an amazing solitaire experience. It feels simultaneously personal, historical. There's a real sense of adventure and purpose. And if you weren't sold, now you're sold. Gameplay. See, that's a great quote right there. Gameplay. Quick here to rip, read the operations manual. Do I even want to read it? Do I want to see it? Mm, we'll see it. We'll see it. How many pages? How many pages? Oh, okay. Table of contents. So we're getting 39 pages. Look at this. Oh, I love when they do this. They got all this, like, the stuff on the left side and then the stuff in the middle. I love this particular layout for rule booklets. When done well, I feel can really escalate the quality of a rule booklet. And this looks so stinking good. Look at that. Look at the pictures, the illustrations, the examples. I want to read this. I want to know how to play this game. And this is one of those few rule books where I would be like, I want to find 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to myself at a time and really bask in this rule booklet and hopefully the mechanisms which are connected to the gameplay the theme and the mechanisms connect to the gameplay in truly great games in my personal opinion and so that's what i'm hoping we get them here and wow this is a lot but it looks it still doesn't look daunting because of just how much hand holding they have with the pictures and the illustrations and examples and that rule booklet i mean I, I, like that that was, that was great could have read very poorly it did not i'm even higher sold on this each turn, yeah, you're telling me stuff, how to play, don't care. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to land, I'm, that's all, that's future me problem. I'm not learning it now, I'll learn it then. All right, click here to read Between Voyages Guide. What is this? Read the epilogue to your voyage in the Between the Voyages Guide if you just want to immerse in a little bit of taste of the theme. I talked at the beginning of this video how this, their video was kind of like that summer movie trailer to get you hyped. The longer extended cut video. That's what that is. That's exactly what they did. And now they're like the Between the Voyages Guides. That's another example of them doing that. That's cool that they're doing that. We got the Game Boy Geek, Meeple University. Is this how to play? Uh, how to play yeah nice i feel comfortable ultimate edition 89 dollars. add-ons is that really is that how clean and clear this is going over here come on let me come on there we go 29 
89. It doesn't get cleaner and clearer than that, does it, ladies and gentlemen? There's no autograph thing. There's no get your face on card X. There's no none of those shenanigans. They're down to business. We want your money. You want to give us your money. Let's make it a nice, smooth process, ladies and gentlemen. You want the expansion? Boom, right here. You want the good stuff, the upgraded stuff, the new stuff? Go right here. And sure enough, easy to find taxes don't care <laughs> i mean look at all this extra work they're putting in this is great okay you know i, I don't want to read any of that most people don't want to read any of that but they're great they're showing i uh, we know what's going on this is why we're charging you extra and if you care here here we're explaining everything i like this I like all this a lot. What's the shipping? $6.13. That's not too bad. That's not too bad for, I'm assuming, what's going to be a relatively large, large box. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Looking good. Terms of service. Don't care. Nobody cares. Nothing cares. Nothing care. Don't care about your COVID. Your, <laughs> when they send the email, here's our, here's our stance on COVID. All right, looks good. Let's check out the comments. So wait, no stretch goals? Did I miss stretch goals? Wow, no stretch goals. So they're just throwing everything here. They're just throwing everything at the wall saying this is every single last bit we have of in this game. We're not... We're not playing around here. We're not saying, oh, we're going to add some cutesy little thing to it if you get 2,000 TikToks or some crap like that. This is the game, baby. This is this person's absolute dream realized into a mechanical marvel. Uh, a game that will be on shelves for 100 years from now. That is what we have here. This isn't some cute thing where we're adding things at the end. And, and you know what? I think there's something to be said for that. So while normally I would crush on the, hey, where's those stretch goals? I'm just like, now it's just, no. I want this. I want this. Add-ons, expansions, or maybe, uh, what, what? Did I miss some stuff? Did we miss stuff? <laughs> Ultimate Edition. Oh, that's the expansion pack one. War Bolt, there's another expansion. Are all these expansions? Oh, but all these are in the all the Ultimate Edition. Okay, yeah. Just all these are in the Ultimate Edition. Cloth Bundle, oh yes. Oh yes, that's good. That's good stuff. Look at that Cloth Bundle. You know you want that. It's only $9. You could take that on a picnic. You, Nemo's War, eight-piece family bucket. You know, just get the $20 one with the sides. Find yourself a nice secluded place. Set out the blanket. Set out the play mat. No one around to judge you. Get on some Nemo's Wars. You know you want to do it. Nine extra bucks. Why not? This means two things. Okay, but no, I didn't. I, there's no stretch goals. Okay. I love seeing different decisions made by different companies. And, and here's the thing. I think if different companies with different games had made that same, oh, hey, what's up, Lance? Booyah, baby. If, if, Different companies with different games made that same decision. I don't know if it'd go over so well. I don't know if it'd go over as well. Because this one is just saying, hey, this game's amazing. We don't care if you check it out. We, you know, that's up to you. But if you don't want to miss this. Let's just say you don't want to miss it. You know, that's what I get the vibe that I get for this game. Whereas when I see some of these other ones, it's like, hey, look at us. We got new stuff. Come check it out every single day because we're going to add more minis. This one's just like, no, we're that good. Now here's something okay this is actually something some definitely behind the scenes stuff right here i had a hard time finding this game potentially because there are no kickstarter stretch goals to go to because i tried sorting this out by popularity and this wasn't one of the more popular ones despite the fact it has raised 134 you know thousand dollars which tells me hey maybe kickstarters not sending as many people to this project because it's not as exciting because it doesn't have the stretch goals and it's not getting the most visits. Maybe there's these algorithms at work at play that say, you know, a lot of people are visiting, you know, this Frostpunk Kickstarter, or this Bard Sun Kickstarter because they're adding stuff all the time. And they want to see what's added. So maybe they just click on in once or twice every few weeks. Whereas with this one, this Nebo's War, you don't need to come back to it. Nothing exciting is going to happen here. You know, you're going to get an amazing game in the mail, you know, uh, next year for Christmas. There's nothing else I need to know about it. 
Done. Don't think about it again. Whereas that Bart song, whoa, I think I think we're going to add this cool new location, which is going to do the thing X, Y, Z. And who's to say if they weren't doing that with this, maybe it would be bumping it higher on these algorithms and convincing more people that, hey, maybe minis aren't the way to go. Maybe I'll go with this. It's got some cool minis too, but it looks more, much more about the gameplay. And I've always wanted to be, you know, uh, the Nemo captain. You know, I'm just, I'm spitballing here and I'm looking at things and I'm making observations and that's what this entire segment is about, but it, this is a much harder one to find and let's, let's do it. Let's do it right now and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go kickstarter.com and uh, by the way, I have this other one up here because I signed up for a free trial, something called Tweens and it's made it so it's going to like share my Twitter feed or something more often, but I've seen a whole bunch of more followers from it. Uh, it's, it's interesting, but I don't, I tried a free week trial and then I have to cancel it. So I don't want to miss the cancel, which is why I keep that open. All right. So we are on games and then we want to go obviously to tabletop games and sorted by magic. So let's just start scrolling. We got Bard song. So second row. Good for you, Lance. Third row, fourth row. You're saying, wow, fourth row. That's kind of surprising. Okay. So the fifth row down. So it wasn't, it wasn't as hard as I was making it sound to be. Maybe I just missed it the first time, but still five rows down. What, so so what could it be on top of? You know, I think it could be on top of quite a few of these other games. But people are coming back to check out, you know, maybe the Upzone has some new terrain that they're unlocking. Or the Wonders Guide. Oh my gosh, the Wonders Guide is Stretch Goal Mania with a whole bunch of... Yeah, it is. It's Stretch Goal Mania. So let's, let's really dig into that. Because this... They're number five, baby. Good for you, Lance. You're number five. And it's probably because of stretch goals. Because let's because as I mentioned, this one is stretch goals up the wazoo. Let's get to it. They're like, hey, we're gonna be giving you a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of new stuff. Where is it? Make me look good, game. Make me look good. <laughs> where where are the stretch goals? They're here, I swear. They they do. They have stretch goals. It's not crazy. Yes, but anyway, they have a whole bunch of stretch goals, so people get excited about them, and, and then uh, they check in more often, which pushes it higher on those metrics. So here's to say that it could be doing even better, and I think it's doing spectacular if, uh, yeah, yeah, so here we go. Yeah, here we go. The stretch goals I was talking about. Look at this. Look at this. Stretch goal, stretch goal, stretch goal. Every $5,000, and because they're doing that, they're getting bumped higher. This is boom, right there. That's that's so cool to see and to analyze for me. So I say to this Kickstarter, you get a, I'm going to start, why not start grading them? What novel concept? I'm going to go a, ooh, a, it's an A to an A minus. I'm going to go, I got to go with an A. They did, yeah, I'm going to go with an A. But I think you could have got an A plus. But man, I don't know. I think it could have gotten an A plus with stretch goals, but then at the same time, I feel like part of the appeal is it's just this this is absolutely spectacular. We can't make it better. Maybe if the stretch goals were cosmetic, you know, like just we're upgrading some crazy odd bo the box is see through or something, just something you know something like that. So it's not like the game is already as good as it's going to get. Like this game is not getting any better, but your version of this game, which you're going to have for the rest of your life can get nicer if you hit these stretch goals you know maybe maybe i, I mean it sounds like a greedy <laughs> i'm the guy in the movie who's like the evil suit for the company but but maybe may i don't know let me know what you think in the comments down below let's check out this one. i want a mission catastrophe let's just see if the stretch goal uh the stretch goal theory holds catastrophe this looks cool maybe i'll have to do this one sometime soon very nice. All right. Catastrophe, maximum damage. Stretch goals. Tell me, are there stretch goals? Expansion, unlock features, today's featured role. Okay. Today's features role. So this one has today's featured things, which get people coming back to the Kickstarter once again, which, once again, Nemo doesn't have. There's nothing there really that says I need to come back to the Kickstarter. So it, it's starting to look. There we go. Stretch goals. 24,000. Uh, then we got 48 hours what is that so it's just gonna unlock so it's just like something's unlocking in 48 hours maybe i'll click on it 33,000 36,000 39,000 see these are micro stretch goals these micro stretch goals are getting people back to the kickstarter which are pushing them higher and higher so yes i am 
satisfied with my A rating. It could have been an A plus with some stretch holes because I believe it would have pushed it higher and more people would have just been like, wow, this looks amazing. Uh, but there you go. That is today's Kickstarter critique for... Uh, oh, I gotta keep scrolling. There we go. Nebro's War, Journey End, Expansion, and Ultimate Edition. Uh, if this looks like it might be your Kickstarter, be sure to click on that link down below. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. Also, if you enjoy what I'm doing uh, and you want to see some other Kickstarters done, uh, oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need to mention this. So, uh, if you can, click on the link right down here. This one, if you really want to help, like leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of thing. If you want to help me out huge, click on this link. First link down here, uh, that this is a Board Game Geek link that'll take you to this video on Board Game Geek and give that actual Board Game Geek a thumb. Because if that gets enough thumbs, then it will actually uh, shoot me onto the front page of Board Game Geek, which could be amazing for helping me grow the channel. So, oh yeah, I need to start mentioning that in some videos. Because, I, you know, it's normally always like just the dice tower and watch it played and stuff like that, which just have these huge pre-installed audiences. So maybe if I just like pander, like, hey, you got, can I have some more, please? Another thumb, please? I know you subscribe, but I need another thumb. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Nemo's War. <laughs> Journey's End Expansion and Ultimate Edition A. And we're going to start grading these. Good. Oh, I just ripped it. No. Anywho, if you don't want to do it, please sure click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.